kitchen when bringing anything off the ground. This could mean tying your shoes, picking up uh, a piece of food that fell, or picking up a kettlebell, okay? So, what Sean's gonna do is, he's going to grab onto the bell. So what he's gonna make sure of is that his hips are back, his knees are pushed back, so he should be feeling a stretch in the hamstrings. Like I always say, during a uh, class or workout, you wanna always load your hamstrings before you do anything. If you don't feel stretching your hamstrings, you're most likely probably having your knees pushed forward, and you're going to probably round and use your back, okay? So find a position where your weight's in your hamstrings, okay? Also, a little trick is to make sure that you're gonna do that is to pick your toes up, okay? We dorsiflex the feet, the hips will automatically come back, okay? And take out any stress into the back. So, as he ascends up, watch what he does. Straight line, he's not leaning back, he's straight up and down from his shoulders, his butt, and his hips. On the way down, he's doing the same exact thing. He's not bouncing the bell, trying to get as many reps as he can in. And this movement's about quality of movement, not about how many you can get in, okay? So he's squeezing his butt, go back down, hold it. He's gonna initiate by driving through the heels, squeezing the butt. He's not gonna throw his head back and try to throw his back into it. He's squeezing his butt, and he's not pulling the bell with his arm. The bell is coming up with him, with his body. Also, on the way down, as he descends, see how he moves his hips, the bell and the hips move at the same time. Now do an improper on the way up, round your back. So he didn't see how he didn't lock his legs out, he had to utilize his back to go back in order to bring his hips up, okay? That's what you don't want to do. Also, doing that, letting the bell snap you on the way down, uh, it's very, very easy to get a shoulder issue, an upper back and upper neck uh, issue by letting the bell jerk you down, okay? Very, very easy to, to, to to hurt yourself that way. So he's gonna come back up again, driving through the heels. If you're not sure that you're doing that properly, just pick your toes up and automatically you'll drive through those heels. Make sure you're exhaling, all right? One also, one more cue before he comes up, he's gonna make sure that his shoulder blades are tight, his back's flat, okay? He's not rounded, his back, as he, comes, as he ascends, his shoulders and his hips move together in one straight line, okay? So, do it one more time, Sean. So, right here, as he comes up, should be a nice straight line, ready, go. See how it came up? It didn't, he didn't round off at no point from the top of his shoulders to his butt was the, uh, the stick off of his back. So make sure you always flat back, chest out, shoulders back, and drive through the heels.